images continue to surface of Afghans crowding airports and climbing the U.S. Embassy. Many are comparing those scenes to the ones of Saigon in 1975. Different wars with similar endings, veterans relive the heavy human and financial toll of fleeing foreign president and military being evacuated after decades of fighting. Iraqi veteran Daniel Rodriguez shared more about the fear that is being felt all over again by foreign allies. Seeing a helicopter on top of a rooftop with civilians trying to climb up into the helicopter and try to leave, like it's just, it baffles my mind how it's, Two different wars, two different eras, but it's the same fear that, you know, Vietnam and the Afghanistan people have. Rodriguez served in combat in Iraq, but says he feels for his military brothers and sisters. It just makes you think about everyone that we've lost over there. And um, even the veterans that did come back, that left a part of themselves there, and then just for it to be gone, in a day or two. And many veterans are fighting the same battle in PTSD once they return to U.S. soil. We have veterans of all eras from, you know, Vietnam all the way down to Iraq, Afghanistan, and they're sitting home at lo alone having these tremendous emotional reactions to what's going on. But there is hope Vietnam veteran Perry Stevens can attest to. There's help in numbers. And you'll find out that these people are having the same problems you have. And there's help in brotherhood. For more information on veteran services, you can contact the West Texas Counseling and Guidance. For News Connection, I'm Erin Hunter.